Majestic Flight Over Oyente Tambo in Peru, a Megalithic Mystery. Brought to you by HiddenIncaTours.com. Oyente Tambo is one of the largest archaeological sites in Peru. It is at least 600 hectares in size, which is more than a thousand acres. And here you're looking at the ancient town of Oyente Tambo itself, as seen with my quadcopter, Pachacutec. And now we are flying up the Andeni system, built by the Inca. Each one of these terraces is at least eight feet high and was created by the great Inca culture, probably around the 14th century AD. That is one of the greatest achievements of the Inca civilization, their ability to literally sculpt the sides of mountains and create these massive Andeni systems. In the case of Ointe Tambo, the terraces are large because this was a royal Inca site. And you see the care and finesse that the Inca employed in order to almost mold the sides of the hills to create their agricultural system, including that staircase that also has a water system on the right hand side moving water from up down. The town of Ointe Tambo itself, at least the foundations of most of the buildings that you're looking at, are Inca or possibly even pre-Inca, making the entire area a place of incredible historic importance. And now you simply get a view of the vastness of this amazing Inca accomplishment. Who knows the incredible volume of food that could have been produced in this terracing system alone. However, there are other aspects of Oyente Tambo that almost no tour guide knows about or will tell you. And that's the fact that there are megalithic elements to this site and that that megalithic work was done thousands of years prior to the existence of the Inca. Compare the terracing on the right with the walls on the left. On the left you're looking at megalithic work. And here on top at the so-called Sun Temple is an incredible accomplishment. And this is where we see massive slabs of red granite brought from a mountain across the valley on the left. Some of these stones weigh 65 tons and fit together with astonishing precision which the Inca were not capable of. And again look at the comparison. The Inca wall system below and then this astonishing wall on the left. Most archaeologists believe that the Inca were building this so-called Sun Temple and had to abandon it for some reason. However, other disciplines such as geologists, engineers, etc. believe that the Sun Temple was in fact intact and was destroyed by a massive cataclysm thousands of years ago. And here again, as we move in towards what they call the Sun Temple, you see the scale of the granite workmanship. The question is, how were these giant stones moved from the quarry across the valley? How were they shaped? And who, in fact, did the work? Some believe that there was a global catastrophe 11,700 years ago and that this site, in fact, predates that cataclysm. So why not come and visit Oyente Tambo with us in 2015? On the Mystery of the Elongated Skulls Tour, or the Ancient Aliens Peru and Bolivia Tour. And visit my brand new website, Two Years in the Making, human, sorry, hiddenhumanhistory.com.
and my 15 books are available through Amazon and Barnes and Noble. The Real History of Hawaii from Origins to the End of the Monarchy. Legacy, Vintage Photos of Ancient Egypt. A Brief History of the Inca, my very first book. Gringo Guide to Machu Picchu and Cusco. Inca, Before the Conquest of the Spanish. Easter Island, a guide for inquisitive minds, an interactive guide. Beyond Machu Picchu, the other megalithic monuments of ancient Peru, of which there are many. Tiwanaku and Pumapunku, again a virtual visitor's guide. Crimson Horizon, the mysterious red-haired sea kings of the ancient Pacific. Inca footprints, walking tours of Cusco in the sacred valley of Peru. The Enigma of Cranial Deformation, co-written with David Hatcher Childress, Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, Lost Ancient Technology of Peru and Bolivia, of which Ointe Tambo is an aspect, Machu Picchu, Virtual Guide and Secrets Revealed, and Nazca, Decoding the Riddle of the Lines.